Hey, this is Marcus Washman, MTC Media. So a lot of questions about how Bradley Bill will fit with the Phoenix Suns and whether the Suns can do something with the Denver Nuggets next season um, with the addition of Bradley Bill. The first of all, the fit thing, I don't think is as big of an issue as people think it will be. Devin Booker during the playoffs did some primary ball handling. I know you don't necessarily want him doing it for 82 games, but that, that part of it they can figure out. Bradley Bill can play off the ball, probably be the third option in the offense. And maybe a lot of stand the corner, a lot of being at the end of the swing. So a lot of pressure come off with of him that, you know, he had to do a lot of things in Washington, had a lot of um, pressure on his back. That, that's probably going to be gone now. And what will help um, build out is all the room now he'll have on the floor because Kevin Durant and, and Devin Booker. I expect for Bill's numbers to go up. Now, will that translate into wins? Who knows? Denver's not going anywhere. I expect for Golden State, if they re-sign Draymond to a two- or three-year deal, I think they reset. They're going to be tough next year. Does Sacramento take a step um, after a season that a lot of people didn't see coming? So the West is not as tough as the East, and there are opportunities there. I just don't know if the Bradley Beal uh, acquisition will get Phoenix to where they want to get to. They still need to get depth. They need still need to figure out what they're going to do with DeAndre Ayton. So for the Washington part, the uh, the, the Wizards got what they want, which is uh, salary cap space and, and cap flexibility. But like I said, with Phoenix, we'll see uh, whether this move works. For the first time, Beal's going to have to play NBA basketball with a little bit of pressure and expectation. And then we'll see how he uh, deals with it. Smarks Washmore, MTC Media.